Hello everyone, so I wanted to create just a quick visualization to show what the bot is actually doing and what's going on in the background. And to do that, I created just a quick script that shows the cookie transfer with a non-limited quantity item. In this case, I'm just using a random item on Amazon. It would be the same concept if you were to buy a limited quantity sneaker or another exclusive item. So in basic terms, in the bot, we're using a headless browser called PhantomJS, which is just a regular web browser that you can't really see. Anything that would work in your regular browser works in PhantomJS. This is different than Python's request module because you can actually interact with the page, and JavaScript and everything like that still loads. PhantomJS is also much less CPU intensive, so it's kind of the ideal way of opening up a ton of different browsers. And what we're trying to do is load that PhantomJS session into another browser that we can actually interact with. And for that, we're going to use Selenium WebDriver to open up a Firefox instance. But we're going to open the instance with all of the cookies that were saved in the PhantomJS instance. So this would make it so that if you added a shoe in your cart while you're in the PhantomJS instance, it would also be in your cart when you go to check out using Firefox. So I wrote a function called convert headless that's essentially going to convert the headless phantom JS web driver into a Firefox web driver so that you can control it either A, manually with a keyboard and mouse, or B, since it is using Selenium, you could automate the checkout process. So what you're going to see right here is phantom JS is going to open up in the background. It's going to navigate to Amazon it's going to click the Add to Cart button, which should add just this random book into the cart on Amazon. It's going to open up Firefox and navigate to the Amazon cart, which you can see is initially empty. Then it's going to add the cookies from the Phantom JS instance and it's gonna refresh. And you can see that the item is in the cart. So you can see that the cart basically transferred between these two different browsers and it would be the same with Yeezys or really any other type of item. It would also be the same if you were to log into a website using PhantomJS and then open up the Firefox instance, it would already be logged in. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.